That double chunk, like literally, shut the For some reason, I really want to learn that I show speed dance. So I found a tutorial that does it super slow and I need that because I have always been terrible at dancing. It's like when I was younger, all our friends would be out dancing. I'd be like the one that was like, no, I'm sorry, because I've got zero rhythm. Today we change that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. What are we doing, Oliver? No, we're going we're gonna to watch it from here. And then we're going to go to Costco and Sam's Clubs to compare the double chunk chocolate cookies that they have. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm already regretting this decision. Dudo, you want to come in? Come on then, good girl. In you come. What, what, ding, what, yeah. All right, that's not happening, but I can tell you, oh, goodness sake, I thought that would sit properly. It was my sister's birthday a few days ago. My mum and my sister are amazing at baking. I am absolutely atrocious. Now, it's nice for them, because my sister lives back in England. They get to bake together, and I don't get to eat any of their cooked, baked goods. So I want to compare the Costco double chunk chocolate cookie that's going viral on TikTok to the Sam's Club one. I, I actually don't even know if Sam's Club have one. For all of you goobers that think Costco is better than Sam's Club or just love Costco in general, I've got news for you. I think you're all getting paid and you're out of your minds. Right, here we are. All right, so this hot dog here hasn't changed price since 1985. This is the, the massive rage right now. So we're gonna compare the hot dog from here to Sam's Club. Oh, sorry. I think we order over here. This is actually quite nice being able to order on here. So we got the cookie and the hot dog. $1.50 hot dog is a disgrace. There's the receipt, tax write-off. Okay, we are order number 899. It's like 11 o'clock. There've been 900 orders today so far. That's mad. Thank you very much. Pin cup. All right, this is my little secret hack. It's not a hack. Ketchup under the hot dog. Do you go for the sauce on top or the sauce? Right. Do you go for the sauce on top or the sauce inside the bun? Oh. Never seen that before? Uh -huh. Whoa. Time to try it. Did you ask for it? No, I, I just came up with it. All right, enjoy yours. <laughs> he had no idea what I was talking about. All right, we've been Sam's Club members for a few years now, and this, you're about to go and see why it's so good. We've been Costco members for about a month now. This place is always busy. The app is pretty useless. The gas situation, useless. You're about to go and see how good it is over at Sam's Club, literally across the road. And it's a cheaper membership. The only upside to this, my wife says, is that the food, some of the food is slightly higher quality, like grass-fed beef. But they do have pasture-raised eggs over at Sam's Club, which we go through like nobody's business. It's got cookie in my pocket. Oh, come on, run. Oh, the cookie. Keep my cookie in my pocket. There's my car. All right, let's head on over. That cookie in my car smells bloody gorgeous. But just, just watch this whole shopping experience. Sam's Club. I didn't realize how good you are, how good you were, until we tried Costco. And look at the size of those bloody TVs. Unreal. Here's the cafe. All right, so first thing is, way less busy in here. As you shop, you can add all the items to the app, and then the walk, I'll show you the walkout process. I'll get some eggs after this. Okay, I won't lie, the purchasing part of the food, hell of a lot slower was rapid at Costco. He's uh, making it back over there. That meat feast. Thank you very much. Looks like we're doing uh, packets of ketchup here. I'm good with that. Four should do. Straight in the pocket, no relish or anything, come on. All right, now let me show you this shopping process. I'm gonna grab this cart. This one right here. Don't fall over, please. So Shay actually does 90% of the shopping, if not more. And that's just like the way that we've set up our responsibilities as me being the, mon let's say money maker and her being a stay at home mum. I'm looking forward to this bloody cookie. A bloody cookie, not the hot dogs, the cookie. Let's get out of here. All right, quick screen recording. And we Gucci, okay, Sam's Club app. Go scan and go. You go, you go on 
you you go on scan and go. Scan and go. Scan it. I've got four of those. Check out. Continue to check out. Pay with this card. Slide to pay. This isn't even the best bit. The walkout is the best bit. So they essentially have a 3D scanner, which can scan all the way around your cart to count the items to make sure it links up with how much you've purchased. So I'm not even going to a checkout line now. The guy's whipping it. Here's what it all looks like. Are you ready? You can just like scan this here. It's really, it's not gonna work this time, is it? Damn it. Hi. Well, thank you, how are you doing? I said, well, thank you, good. Yes, good, good, yeah, cool, thanks. Have a good one. Okay, that is all a massive letdown. I think the initial reason we got a Sam's Club Mark membership was because it makes gas so much cheaper. The petrol. Stop. Stop. Goodness sake. Is it the litmus test? which is the simplest, this, or the shopping cart test, to work out if a self-governing society is possible. Like, are people willing to put their carts back to create a well-sustained society? Honestly, the people who don't put their carts back, you are vermin, absolute vermin. All right, do you legally have to turn your car off when you get gas? All right, here we go. You ready for this? So you open the app, go to your settings, Go to fuel, scan this. You choose your card, pay with this card. Also, next time you're buying a car, get a car with the tank on the right side of the car because every other car seems to have it on the left side. Flipping love that. It's just, it's such a small thing that I feel like makes such a big difference. It's such a convenient thing. Getting real dad now, aren't I? That's definitely not an exit, lady. Come on, you sausage. We are gonna sit with the geese and test these hot dogs. You all right, lads? Do you mind if I join you? It's all right. No, I come in peace. Oh, come on, boys. Don't be like that. I'll give you some hot dog. People these days, no one wants to have a conversation. All right, we're going Costco first. Glizzy. I'm not normally a fan of hot dogs, that is beautiful. I'll come back to you, my lovely. Ketchup packets, all right. Quick uh, palate cleanser. The French use cheese. Oliver uses water that does absolutely nothing. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't planning on actually finishing that hot dog, but I will, that was that good. I also can't sit down because I got flipping cream trousers on. And the dude in Costco, I was telling him about the life hack to put the ketchup down first. Look at this. If you put the ketchup down first, you don't get all that spillage. There aren't many times I think I'm genius. This is one of them. I'm through. It is Glizzy Tuesday, baby. It's it's more succulent. I think Sam's Club has more flavor. I don't know why I'm taking this so seriously. All right, lads. Can I offer you a bit of hot dog? It's just rude at this point. By the way, both of them were the same price. Both of them had a drink with it. Sam's Club drink was bigger. We rank it. Costco drink was English, European size. Sam's Club one was... American size. Let me go and get it. Ah! No! My glizzy! BRB, yo. Look at the size of that cup from Sam's Club. That's how you know it's a Walmart brand. Look. Bits inside. Oh, I'm covered in ketchup. I knew I should have. Knew I should have grabbed napkins. Aside from the grass-fed beef burgers at Costco, Sam's Club wins it. All day, every day. All right, come on boys, come get your fix. Come have some of my hot dog. Another unsuccessful day work in the street corner. Oh, I got cookies to try. That double chunk, like literally. 
shut the... It's funny how being behind a camera, like I would never say that in person to him. Not because I'm scared, but that's just a rude thing to say. Eat it! <laughs> where are my baby wipes? My hands are messy. Brava, where are you? At a time like this, where are my baby wipes? I lost them. I have no choice but with water and then hand sanitizer. <laughs> Give this cookie a go. Still hot. Gents, when you marry a lady, I like the crust, she likes the middle. It's a perfect match. What the hell are you lot raving about? This is not that good. The middle's better. My sister and mom's cookies are still way better. Someone left their Red Bull can. Frogs everywhere. I'd catch one, but this water looks grim. Oh, I'm falling over. My God, you scared me. Okay. I've got an apt punishment for people who leave their trash places. You sit them on a nice little chair, grab a bamboo shoot and stick it right under their bottom hole and just let it grow, baby, until it comes right out of their nose. Mmm. Raunchy. Okay, let's pour that out. By the way, here's a little secret. So I saw that can and I was gonna go and pick it up and I forgot to pick it up. And I got about three quarters of the way home and I was like, I should have gone and picked that up. Number one, I should go and pick it up because it's trash. Number two, there's messaging that I wanna get across in every video, like the TikTok videos, for example, of the type of person that I am, because I feel like when you have a presence, like a 600,000 followers, a presence like I do, I don't mean that like big headed. You have the ability to influence people. And I'm willing to spend half an hour to do a small thing like that to influence someone else that picking up someone else's trash and throwing it away is a good thing to do. Wow, Oliver, you're such a good person.